Hello everyone. I just need, I have a question. Do you guys ever feel the magic? You know, just feel the magic of life, like your dreams are coming true. Because that's how I feel sometimes. I feel like I, my dreams are coming true. Do I know why? I don't fucking know. Why do I feel this way? Manifesting is about feeling. Is it also about action? I don't know. I mean, I think that has a lot to do with it, but I also think it's also about being, you know, facing your fears, you know? Like, my friend, Shaylin, she said she always dreamed about being a gamer, but she was always too scared to start a YouTube channel because she said she's too fluffy or, you know, overweight. And I told her, Shaylin, you're beautiful. You can do it. Like, literally. I don't... Nobody cares. You're, you're sweet, you're funny, you're beautiful. Hello. Like, literally. Make a YouTube channel. And she wouldn't do it. And I think that, you know, fear can really, you know, deter us from our, our wishes and our, our dreams and our aspirations. Fear can really do that. You know, like, you, you dream of being, like, a, a model or a sailor or a plumber. Who knows what you want to do? You want to be a, what do you want to be, a performer, but you're too scared? Well, fear gets in the way. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you guys a story. I've, I've said this story quite a few times on this channel, but, you know, I doubt these people that watch my videos are going to watch every one of my videos. So I, I think it's okay to repeat stories because they're interesting. And I like to talk about them, you know? It's kind of like moms when they keep repeating the same story you've heard over and over. It, it etches it into your skull, you know? You get it in there. Get it in there. So, here's what we're talking about. Facing fears. When I was younger, I was, uh... I was scared of the dark. This story might be a little scary for some of you. But anyway, so I was scared of the dark. And I used to manifest these static looking faces in the dark. Like, I don't know if it was just me being scared, having the feeling, but it was, it was energy. It was real. Because I saw it. I saw it. It was real. I felt it. It was real. It was real. So, you know, I'd see these faces every night before I went to bed. And sorry if I'm scaring you. It's not scary. Just trust me. Not anymore. I don't care. So that's what happened. And, you know, I heard a voice in my head saying, you need to face your fears. It was like, God was trying to teach me to stop being scared. It said, you need to face your fears, face your fears. So I looked at, at the faces in, in the dark and I was like, I'm not scared of you anymore. You know, I'm not scared of you. You don't scare me. And I think that's when they stopped showing up. So... I think that was a big lesson in life. I think it was a lesson that, you know, taught me that fears uh, need to be faced. And that's really it. And that, it, it was a lifelong lesson, actually. Even though I was about six, it was a lifelong lesson because it's true, you do need to face your fears. I grew up being afraid of other people and their thoughts about me. I grew up being scared. I had social anxiety, guys. If you don't know anything about social anxiety, it's when you're scared, deathly afraid of other people. And it's, it's sad because, you know, I was a sweet kid, but now oh, I'm horrible. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm a little, but it's okay. I, I'm, I'm growing as a person. I'm growing up. I'm getting old and I want to find love. And it's as simple as that. 
So there's that. And, you know, facing your fears is an important key part in life. It took me a long time to face my fears. Very long. Uh, it took me from, I think, 7th grade to past 12th grade. I think I was about 18 when I actually started talking to people normally. Like normal, regular people do. Instead of just existing and shutting yourself off to the whole world. Because that's what I did. I, I didn't talk to anybody, really. I mean, I had friends, but I don't know how. <laughs> I really don't, because I didn't really talk to anybody. I didn't talk to strangers. I talked to the people I grew up with. That's who I talked to. If I, if I look at it like that, that makes sense, because I was familiar with them, because I always saw them around everywhere. That makes sense. So, yeah. I, 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 was, I made friends with the people I grew up with very important and facing your fears is very important because facing your fears is like the center stone to getting what you want sometimes sometimes you have to make the youtube channel sometimes you have to move you know sometimes you have to talk to that guy or girl you got to talk to them. If you want them, you need to face your fears. You know? You need to talk to that person. You know? You can't just idly stand by and admire them. Sure, that's great. But what, what will that do? Will that show them how interested you are? No. I think in order to get somebody, you need to act interested. It's, it's, it's good. They want to feel liked. It's good to feel liked. Nobody I know doesn't like being liked. Like, I like to feel good, and I like when people act like they like me. It, it feels good. It feels like I'm loved. It feels like I, I have someone that cares about me. And it's okay to act interested. You know? It's okay to want to be with someone okay it's okay to act interested a lot of people are too shy and they don't act interested but you need to act interested how else are they supposed to know that you like them okay even if it's as a friend it's okay because i still know you like me i still know you care about me kind of thing you know, yes, we're friends, and I still care about you, you know, sort of, it's, it's good to act interested, don't be afraid that they'll think you like them, but that's the point, you're supposed to know, hello, you're supposed to know, hey, this person likes me, they think I'm cool, it's nice, even if they're not interested, They'll like you. Probably. Unless they're a douchebag. And especially if you're a nice, likable person. Yeah. There you go. But don't worry about that. Worry about just showing them that you care. It's, it's, it's simple. There you go. And facing your fears is simple. You just gotta do it. Stop thinking about it so much. Don't take it so seriously. What are they going to do? Hurt your feelings? Then they're shit. They're not worth it. Don't worry about it. You're hurting your own feelings anyway. It doesn't matter if someone else does it, you know? It doesn't matter. Okay? It really doesn't. So, there's that. There's my spiel about facing your fears. And I hope that story didn't scare you or anything. I don't know. It, that, it was a true story. It happened and I just thought it was weird. I was like six. Life has been weird. I don't understand existence. <coughs> and I just choked on my spit. Yep, existence is trying to kill me. 
<laughs> so <laughs> anyway, that's what I get for talking shit about existence. You know, I just <laughs> choke on my own spit and die. <laughs> that's how it works for me. So, uh, so yeah, that's how my life's going. But, uh, that's it. That's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope, I, I hope you'll watch my next videos. Thank you. Goodbye.